You want to know about one of the most powerful brain tonics? Hi, we're Glenda and Michelle. I'm Glenda, a registered holistic nutritionist. And I'm Michelle, a certified meditation teacher. And this is where nutrition meets meditation. And please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and uh, press the um, down below on the screen the subscribe. subscribe button. Yeah, I don't know why I forget that, but anyway. All right, let's get started. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking about bone broth. It's been used for over 20,000 years as a tonic for healing. And But today we're talking about foods that can boost your, your mood and memory and, and, and help with things like depression yeah. and <laughs> um, anxiety. Let me just check my notes here because there, it's, it's a long list of it's things that list. actually helps with. It helps with sleep. It helps to, like I said, decrease anxiety, promote mental calmness, Ooh. insomnia, and even hyperactivity. So I've made some bone broth here, so I'm just going to show you basically how this works. Okay, so okay. come with me. Here we go. And there's a, this has been cooking Whoa. for over 24 hours. And to make bone broth, that's basically what you have to do. This is for chicken bone broth. If it was beef, it would be 48 hours that you should be um, cooking it for. Now, I have some trips, tricks and tips on how because I've got a gas stove and I don't leave the gas stove on overnight, so I submerge it. And this is what they do in restaurants, actually. They take, they cook the bone broth because good restaurants always have some good stock going. It's the best way to make really super nutritious food out of stuff that you'd otherwise throw out. So basically, I take bones from the chicken, and then I take the ends, I save the ends of celery and yeah, carrots we do that and too. We put them in the freezer. Exactly. Yeah. And until you're ready to use them, you pot, put them in a, a pot with some a little bit of um, some citrus or apple cider vinegar and, and peppercorns is a re really good idea in filtered water and then you cook it as long as you can, as long as you feel it safe and you're at yeah. home. And then you submerge it into a, what I do and what they do in restaurants to a big bucket of ice water. And then you keep it cold until you're ready to put it back on the burner again. And that oh. way you can get the 24 hours or if it's bone, uh, beef bones, huh. Um, you go for. I take it out to the garage. Well, perfect. <laughs> because carry it out. Here, we're in the northern. <laughs> yeah, we're in the northern hemisphere. We yeah. don't have a garage, so that's that's what I do. That's I put it one. down by the back door of the basement, and it's cooler there, and yeah. it's submerged in ice water overnight, so it can stay because we want to make sure because it won't fit in the fridge. No, it, this won't fit in the fridge, and you want to make lots because, of course, it's a bit of a project, but it doesn't really cost you any money, and most people say eating yeah. healthy costs so much money, and they're right. It often does, but this is a huge money-saving tip. So you'll see that I've used, like, chicken feet, and which is really, oh. like, you, it's really hard to get chicken feet. I'm always asking our local farmer or local butchers if they if they can get me chicken feet and they're always saying no but I managed to connect with directly with a farmer just a couple of weeks ago and he said he has chicken feet like maybe once a year why only once a year I have no why idea chicken feet? but That's why like, chicken feet yeah. it's because we want the foods that you know this is a you know just to back up for a moment we want to be consuming snout to tail as much as possible we gotta get away from just eating the muscle meats that's not where the nutrition is okay. so when we when we want to make bone broth and we're using the you know sorry I'm using my own fingers a bit like chicken fingers um, <laughs> um, with that they have extra gelatin in them and, and so that's why it's just that much more nutritious because this is it's, it's not just a tonic for the brain but it's also so gut healing and as you'll hear me say probably a hundred times if not more that you cannot improve your mental health unless you improve your right. gut health because I, they're I have old. heard you say that yes a lot. yes <laughs> I know ad nauseum I'm, yes. I'm sure so, so anyway so I've been preparing this and you can see that you know how it's been boiling and the stuff that I used in it. Now I'm going to put it in a jar. So it's a little bit nasty. Have you already strained it? No, I no. have not strained it. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to strain it and you maybe, want my help. Yeah, well, actually, maybe if you want to get a camera, oh, and okay. then we can get Let some images that. of that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Okay, All right. it's Hold heavy, on. so I'm not going to do the whole thing. So, 
Okay, here. Oh, you want photos? Um, no, a video. video. All right. So we'll overlay a okay, video. Okay, we're going to video this. Okay. Four. Here okay, we let's go. Let's do it. And I'm just going to do a bit of it here. This Not is. Uh, let me make sure I. Okay. okay. So then I've got some in a smaller pot. I bet you thought we were pouring it down the drain. No, I wasn't pouring it down the drain. I just find <laughs> that if I do anything like that kind of pouring in the sink, mm -hmm. I don't make a mess and I don't spill anything. Right. But if I did it on the counter, somehow it would spill all over the place. So this, Michelle's here to help me. I would do this in the sink too because it's hot and, and it could actually go for another draining. Now, I'm going to be putting this in the freezer. Oh, that smells so So good. I'm going to be extra careful and not, not fill, it. fill it anymore. And I'm, I'm extra cautious because this will expand a little bit in the freezer. And if it expands around the elbow of the jar, it will crack in the freezer. Actually, so, we had that happen. Yes, so did yeah. I. That's how I learned yeah. that. So, um, but of course, don't put it in the freezer right away you have to let it get to room temperature put it in the fridge then put it in the freezer and there you go now i have a question for you yeah and for you do you like bone broth i love it do you because i don't you don't i don't like oh, drinking love it. bone broth oh. it just ugh. i was a vegetarian for over 20 years so maybe that's why maybe. i just don't really dig it but i make it because now I do eat some meat, obviously, because here's our bone broth. But what I do with it is that I'll have it in the freezer and I'll take this out and I'll use it to make grains. Mm -hmm. I'll use it to make soups, stews. Mm -hmm. I use it for a base for all kinds of other foods and, and sauces and gravies. And so you're making yeah, this good. like super spectacular meal that otherwise would still have been like del delicious and good and you know if you use some herb mare that you'll probably see uh, that's another product that i often use to for a seasoning or flavoring or i don't really like the tetra um soup stocks and that kind of thing i don't know no, they don't separate. yeah i'm just yeah. a bit wigged out about those yeah. but so by doing this you have this super yeah. brain tonic to use in these other recipes mm -hmm. so even if you don't want to drink bone broth, but if you do, go for it because it's so fantastic. I like drinking it just as a tea. Yeah, and a lot of people do. Sometimes I put a little seasoning in it. Fantastic, and, just... and if you do like that, then please go for it. But, you know, we're all different, yeah. right? We all That's have different sure. taste palettes and, and that kind of thing, but that doesn't mean we can't use bone broth. Right. So. That's everything I That's have great. Awesome. for today. Okay. And, uh, well, we want to make sure people leave a comment. Let right. us know if you've tried this recipe or you found a store-bought version that you oh. know is healthy. Can oh, yeah, yeah, store? yeah, you can if you go to a good health food store. Yeah. But one other thing I just want to mention that the recipe for this, oh, the yeah. link to the recipe will be below here. Perfect. So, if, you know, because I didn't get into, but it's, so, it's super simple. You it don't is. really have to measure anything. Even though I make it. Yes. So. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Have a wonderful week, everyone. Yeah, Bye. from Glenda Michelle. <laughs> Bye. See ya.